This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, December 20th. Starting out with the stock index futures, yesterday's sharp gains were given back when the Fed released its statement. The statement was not as dovish as many analysts had anticipated, with the Fed still looking for two rate hikes next year, even though the financial futures markets were predicting only one. Right now, it looks like there are still plenty of headwinds for this market. Of course, we have the ongoing trade situation between the U.S. and China. And now the Fed that seems to be uh, very adamant about uh, raising rates two times uh, next year and another rate hike in 2020. So I think there are better markets to trade where the fundamentals are more lined up in the same direction. And I'll get to that in just a bit. Moving over to the currency markets, it's hard to fool the currency traders the dollar index is sharply lower when in fact it should have been sharply higher given what the Fed did yesterday. So that is an indication that currency traders believe the Fed cannot raise rates as many times as they are uh, uh, planning to. Moving over to the interest rate futures markets, this is where the fundamentals seem to be aligned in the same direction and that is to the upside for futures. It still appears now, according to the financial futures markets, that there is only one rate hike coming from the Fed, not two that they are uh, predicting. Also, the slowing global economy is supportive to the credit futures markets. So any breaks in the Treasury bond futures should be used as a buying opportunity. In fact, just today we had the bonds advancing to a new five-month high. Also, another market I like is the gold market and have liked this for quite some time. Basically, for the same reasons I like the interest rate futures markets, uh, a slowing global economy means lower interest rates globally, maybe not from the Fed right away, but ultimately lower rates overall. And that is very supportive to the gold market and the gold now also advancing to new five month highs. So it's the interest rate markets and the gold should be uh, traded from the long side. And those are the markets that have the most potential currently. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.